y'all. What happened? I told you, I said bye. Bait You're caster. not a bait I caster. Look it. at my that. My bait caster just went all up in there. Oh my gosh. Well, I, go, I go open face, boys. You know what? It's hard to find good help. <laughs> <laughs>
and you can kind kind of uh, see where things go from there. I think it's a little bit easier. I've actually not clicked on the barcode they give you, but they do have one that Ooh. you can uh, click on and supposedly give you a manual to put this stuff together. So it's pretty simple. It's pretty much basic, basically the same on all all the tractors. So Kevin gets that tightened up. We're going to put a little drive shaft. Uh, hoop on the front side then there's another one that goes on the back side here we'll get you guys out of the hole and you can see that out the hole all right we got the outside hoop on here it's got a couple bolts come in from the back side it's kind of a pain on the 700s they got one that sits on the outside here these tractors are a lot harder these smaller ones to uh, get that on let me hold something Kevin's actually run a tap through all these holes. These are uh, what, 20 millimeter holes? That'd be correct. 20 millimeter holes, he's tapped all these out, so we'll take a bolt nice and easy. Makes things nice. All right, Kevin's getting that drive shaft hoop uh, tightened up. Next thing we're gonna do is install the uh, control cable. I'd like to go ahead and get it ran through there. Um, it's a lot easier to do it now, so. This all comes in pieces and parts. I actually already assembled it, it's kind of monotonous. Um, again, on John Deere parts, you can see this breakdown. Um, it's just simple push-pull cable. Uh, I got a cable holder there. There's a couple Heim joints here. It's pretty, pretty simple. This is a 3 8 joint. This is a half inch joint there. The handle actually kind of slides in the slot right there. I'll give you guys, you guys a peek at that. You're putting that together there. So that's going to go up under there in the door, and then there's a uh, top piece that goes on here, if I can find it. I actually already cut a hole out up here. Sometimes these tractors have holes on them later, like the K-Series and their stuff will actually have that hole cut out there already. So, Oh, here's a piece I'm looking for. So that's a piece that's going to sit up on top of the tractor up there, so we're going to get this foot up there. Bolt that down. Did you get her? Got it. Got it. These are just uh, 13 millimeter headed bolts, so we'll get that up there. One more thing we'll run along with that is actually this vent hose. The winch has a uh, vent on it and a filter to supply that in the kit. So that vent hose will actually hook up right over here on this winch. It goes on right there. It actually just vents stuff out. So we'll get uh, set up here and get this put in. All right, working on the control cable. I got it stuffed through. I actually got it hanging out back here with the vent hose. Mr. Kevin's up here. Got the bolts laid out, hole cut out. Are you ready to do this? Let's do it. You think you're done, huh? Yep, done. I noticed this handle's straight on these. Sometimes these are bent. Had a catch angle. Uh-oh. Where's the hole at, bud? Right there. Oh, what was that? That was dropping my bolts. That was important. Too much violence. Where you need to be at? There's one right there. I can see one. Jackpot. Next one. Wiggle jiggle. Jackpot. That's three, baby. Here comes four. Got you a uh, nice sticker there. You want me to put so it on this the winch, right way or the wrong way? Yeah. This winch, uh, they make them a couple different ways. This winch is free spool out and power in only. They make them actually power in and out and free spool so this one's a little more simpler operation the way the loggers like it only time you'd probably use the power out if he's like uh, lowering something over a hill or something like that another dozer or need something to wipe that off yeah Kevin's gonna put the sticker up on there we got a knob here somewhere that's a brand new shiny knob too bud eight ball right there eight ball shifter oh yeah while we're up here we'll probably hook up this uh, transmission vent 
not transmission, winch, vent, filter. We just find an extra hole up in here. We can probably use this. Sometimes I'll use these studs right here too. We'll get that hung up here. Okay, got the vent on there. Got a little short jumper hose. Got it pointing down so don't get dirt in it. And there's a look at the uh, control cable. Cable always sits on the outside of this bracket here normally. So Kevin's got the sticker on. Looking good. Knob. Now what? Eight ball. Um, Got to go back here and do some we stuff. We do got to go back here. We're going to put these uh, big mounts on the winch next. So we'll put the mounts on the winch and then we got to put this uh, lower transmission pan saver on the tractor first and then we actually got to floss the winch down into that pan on there. So the reason you can't uh, put this all at once, there's some bolts that's actually hidden here once the winch is in there. So. Kind of a pain to get on these smaller tractors. So we'll bolt that on. Kind of got to get the winch sitting at an angle so you can get in to uh, put your U-joint uh, caps and stuff on there, straps. So it's fun times. The 700s are a lot easier. They've got actually a bracket you can reach into the side and stuff. We they're, love putting those on, don't we? They're big enough. You can yeah, you can actually fit do in whatever the hole. You want. We'll get her on there. She'll uh, she'll fit. So we'll get these brackets put on next. All right, Kevin's bolting on the uh, tractor mount brackets. It's going to show you guys something on this one over here. Pro tip. Pro tip of the day. You can get these bolts slid in there very easily. These, if you notice here, they're going to come and hit this case. So you cannot get these bolts in here once that thing's bolted up. So pro tip of the day, these first three bolts, you want to put those in first. If not, you're going to have a bad day real quick, aren't you? Mm -hmm. You're going to be cutting and welding bolts together. So say don't forget to put those three bolts in they will not come out or go in either way so he's going to finish bolting that up then we're going to bolt the hitch or that oil pan saver on the back of there and then we'll get ready and set the winch on all right we got the lower oil pan cover on there we got uh actually put a couple brackets on here off camera this is actually the control lever. It actually runs a control valve for the winch. That cable is going to come in there. We put on, fastens right here. Then it'll be a clevis pin right here. And that's what uh, makes that winch move. You guys see me rebuild those winches in a couple of videos before. So we've got this thing sitting back, tilted at an angle, as you guys can see there. Kind of got to floss it up in that hole. We kind of got to leave it sitting at an angle in that hole so we can reach down through here and put that drive shaft on. Like I say, it's a tight fit. So. Kevin's going to fire up the forklift here, and uh, we'll try to get her up there. Come on in, Kevin. Go up a little bit. getting a sticker. Pull on down a little bit, Kevin. I think what we'll have to do is unhook that chain then fold it up a little bit. Front one should get loose. Go ahead and pick it up some. Yeah, all right. Up a little more. Whoa, that's good for right now. Shut her off. All right, I'll show you guys. You guys seen how we kind of tilted her in there. So 
we got to leave us a little room you guys can see it's locking a couple inches of hitting so we've got to leave a little room you can see how tight this is we'll get that u-joint all hooked up in there and once we get that hooked up we'll roll the rest of the way up with all them little kids hands that little we have tiny hands little people hands yeah you know what i'm seeing we screwed something up here in this video what do we screw up pro tip we're used to doing 700 so we brought that control cable out through that hole like they are it's actually got to come out here because it comes through here all right and that what a pro hose. tip i'm going to show you a pro tip pro put, tip let's put my pro tip in this video next pro tip <laughs> been a couple days since we did one of these so that push pull cables needs to come out here i just got to seeing it there's no way that's going to go up there mm -mm. Uh -uh. Mm -mm. so what i'm talking about here is this control cable in the vent that we put in we run it out down below like the 700s are these need to come up so we'll have a pro moment and fix that that's right we're going to get that u-joint on there bolt it up we'll just go to commercial commercial break and you guys come back it'll, it'll just be there <laughs> just gotta do this right here all right we're back we got her all bolted up here both sides got her control cable on here and adjusted filled the winch up with 10 gallons of hydraulic fluid you actually can fill it up to this hole here and you can top the rest off through dipstick <laughs> these check with the engine running on those so lights lights going dead on my battery we got a pro tip for you too don't we that's right we sure do so i told you guys i usually put these on 700s if you notice something's a little different in here I told you the cable went on the outside of this bracket. Well, it does on the 700, but not a 650 or 450, does it? So we had to do the spinner rear because we were going the wrong way. Now that we got is her. very, very true. Now we got her hooked. You want to fire it up and see if it works? We're going to push that lever forward into free spool. You got her in free spool. I can pull that out now. You know, wind it in. Now what's next? Covers? You betcha. You like that pro tip? Yeah, that's a pretty good pro tip. All right, we're going to get these covers put on here. We got them laying over here. Uncle Scott's going to help I just feel sorry for the sucker that only watches the first four minutes of this video. Yeah. Puts his on backwards <laughs> and can't figure it out till the very end. Oh, well, we could have not told him to act like we was really professionals. <laughs> anyway, we got the right way. <laughs> Nobody will ever know. Now All right, do. we got some panels. They just kind of fit in there, bolt on there. Then we'll be about done other than winding the cable up. All right, all right, we got the covers all on there. Got access to the dipstick, check the oil level. Mr. Kevin's getting his area diesel service gloves on. Boom. Boom. So we're getting ready to put the cable on. That's gonna be about it on this. We got a 100 foot of 5 8 wedged cable. So what this is, it's actually like a three quarter cable and they crimp it down, makes it smooth, it's stronger. It's the same diameter as 5 8 wedged. So we've got one tail hold and one slide, I believe they call it. We usually only put a couple on uh, these dozers. It's going to go something like that. We'll tie a knot right here on this end. Loggers knot. We're not loggers, but we'll tie something. And uh, I already got the uh, retainer clip out on the drum here. It went right here. It's 16 millimeter socket. It's got a little bell there to fit in there. Then we'll put it on the forklift, stretch the cable out, and wind it all up nice and pretty.
And you're what? not gonna get it, buddy. Ah! That was like John Claude Van Damme right there. Did you see that? It's still in my way. No, it's not. Look, it's gone. It's like when they threw that pixie dust in his Is eyes. That right. And he was all like, ah! okay. Just had to feel it. Okay. Got her, bub. Ready to put a knot on into this dude? Here comes the rattlesnake. Rattlesnake time. Easy, guys boys. Watch these cables, I'll get you. Easy, boys. Oh, my. Oh, boy. There's people screaming at us right now on the TV. You idiot. <laughs> You're getting ready to get it, bud. Don't let it get me. We just need that end. Where are you going with it? Right here. There you go. Get it, oh, get yeah. Give it to me. <laughs> here, let's tie a knot in that thing before you get. Uh, Need a slide, tail hold, and a knot. You need a pair of vice grips too, don't you? Yep. <laughs> I'd cry, but you're filming right now. What's the matter with you? Uh, it hurts it, that bad? It hit me right here. Right here. Does it hurt when you right pee? There. Sometimes. <laughs> That's why I sit down. Boy, that's some good switch. Oh, did you hear that? Don't like it. About it, Amp. It'll get her. Alright, we're going to hook that into the forklift and stretch her out. We got, got it Jay. stretched out. We got Jay on the job. That's right. This place is getting expensive now. Jay's gonna, yeah. Jay's gonna ride the brake, keep some tension on this while Mr. Kevin kind of helps wind her up. You ready? Oh, I was born ready for this. All right, let's let her rip. You ready? Yep. No pressure. What'd you do? That's money. What's for you? Are you gonna sit there and hold it all night or what? I don't wanna let go of it. It's just kinda like my bait caster. That's gonna be a wrap on this video. If you guys are interested in winches, you need to give Mr. J a call here. I'll put the phone number, emails always in the description down below. We do keep these in stock. For the 450s to 650s and 700s, winch mounts, kits, all that good stuff, don't we? We try to. We try to. We've got three by the time you guys see this video, we got three more coming in. Um, we keep log arches, limb risers, screen kits in stock for them. Kevin's getting ready to make a mess over there. You're just gonna have to stay there. So if you guys wanna see us uh, 
put a uh, log arch on, limb risers, and a screen kit. That'd be in another video coming up. So you guys uh, look at that stuff. We got some stuff from Paint Valley coming. So if you guys like what you've seen today, give us a big thumbs up. It helps out a lot. Are you going to make it over there? You're really struggling. Uh, we got my art is about ready to lose it. You just going to stay here all night? All night. Just like well, why don't we tell everybody bye, then you can let go of it. Bye! See ya. <laughs> I'm gonna take off. What happened? I told you, I said bye. Bait You're caster. not a bait caster. Look it. at my that. My bait caster just went all up in there. Oh my gosh. Well, I, go, I go open face, boys. You know what? It's hard to find good help. <laughs>